Jeffrey says, what are examples of helpful thoughts your brain give you and unhelpful ones? The unhelpful ones, you know which ones they are. Negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, transient thoughts, thoughts that you know they're wrong, but you feel like you gotta do them, obsession, compulsion, OCD stuff. <clears throat> and thoughts that are helpful are thoughts of positivity, hopefulness, meditation, learning, contemplating on devising new things, figuring out new things, and uh, taking care of your knowledge about nutrition, fitness, healthy brain, and thinking and contemplating, pondering on the totality of your life. Most of us, in general, are unaware of the totality of our lives. We only live life physically. We only are aware of the physical needs and physical attractions and physical involvements, and we feel that that's the only dimension that our life is all about. Hence, we lose the biggest part of our development and advancement an enhancement of our existence, which is all in different dimension, which you can become aware of it by allowing yourself to indulge in that other dimension, which is through meditation. The gateway to the real world is your consciousness, but you're using your consciousness only for the physical engagements and interactions. All the nonsense about physical things have become important to you because that's the only way you know how to interact with the world, with life, with the experience of this journey. In most part, in how we look like, how we are fit, and then uh, sex has become the biggest thing in life, which this is how our animal portion is identifying ourselves with, with our sexuality. And then this has become so important that is talked about, everything is about sex, to the point that brings all kinds of um, topics about sex in mind, which overwhelms the mind about pondering of all these things, and then intrusive thoughts pick up on that and try to instill all kinds of garbage which is irrelevant to you depending on what your gender is is irrelevant to you and yet you become engaged in figuring it out what does it have to do with me does it have anything to do with me am i this or that because thoughts pops up with different suggestions of nonsense and occupies your mind so everything has become physical in this world your thinking is even become about physical things. So the dimension of life that you're living in has become only that physical dimension, which we are losing and missing the bigger part, the, the, the dimension that we are not focusing on, the dimension that we can enter through mindfulness, through meditation, to bring in those qualities of life that really matters and frees us from all these intrusive thoughts because intrusive thoughts is always about physical world, physical differences. When you enter into a different dimension of your life, which is non-physical, then no longer you have any intrusive thoughts because your mind becomes very clear, balanced. When it's clear and balanced, it's it can easily understand what's irrelevant to you and to your physical being, to your mental being, to who you are. It is mindful and clear that these sort of thoughts, that sort of thoughts, that sort of thought, and this sort of thought, they're irrelevant to you. But when you're only living in a physical dimension, any intrusive thought, any thought that shows up, not knowing that you're not thought, thought is not you, you think thought has insight or intelligence. 
that is beyond you, more you, above you. Therefore, you try to ponder on it, entertain it, where you should be the one who, who actually judges thoughts. You're beyond the thought. You're the superpower over thought. Thought is your tool. Thought is your slave. Thought is your subordinate. Thought is nothing other than a feature. You are the master. Yet you have forgotten all about that because you've been living in the physical world and think that your life is only about physical things. Therefore, you get bamboozled and confused about a thought that shows up and is intrusive in nature because thought has no intelligence. It's randomly showing up of all kinds, about 80, 90,000 of them a day. And all of them are intrusive. The only thoughts that are yours are the thoughts that you use to calculate something, figure out something, and contemplate something and become mindful. Through mindfulness, not just meditation, through mindfulness, you will enter to a different dimension of this very physical world. While you're living in a physical world in a physical way, but you are actually incorporating the dimension that is not physical into your physical world, which brings that balance, awareness, mindfulness, and pleasantry that not every pleasures will have to be physical and you will gain a new insight of pleasures that are non-physical while you're living in a physical world as simple as drinking your tea with mindfulness tea how it's made it's here i'm fully attentive to this tea i am one with this tea i drink this tea my mind is here my my body tastes the tea mind and body in the same place that's when you manifest your total power the mind is not all over the place figuring out the problems and wondering about the fears and anxieties and challenges that you have in your life and then yet you're drinking your tea and you don't even know what you're drinking it could might as well be anything else you have no awareness of what your body is doing because you are following your thoughts and your mind and you think you are your you are the thoughts that pop up and you're following them and you're missing the physical world and then often you're running with your physical needs and you're missing the other dimension which is a bigger part of you which is the spiritual way the connection with the universe and not a pop-up intrusive thoughts actuality of the other dimension we're not talking about thoughts thoughts are no dimension thoughts are dumb and stupid they're residues feces of the activities that happens in the brain which is production of thoughts and these thoughts mostly are garbage but if you don't understand that you're above these thoughts then you will be following some nonsense following the feces and then you always have these questions that they're irrelevant to you yet you're trying to answer but there's no question there's no answer to be had because it's irrelevant it's a nonsense bogus questions so your life has become a physical life and limited to that and based on the garbage that is produced in your head and you're running around to it instead of you reclaiming your bosshood and the me who you are by filtering the garbage that shows up in your thought and understanding that physical world has a place and the spiritual world the different dimension that you can live and survive and thrive in has its place which you should bring them to balance combine the two mind and body coordination through mindfulness including meditation and mindfulness in every single thing that you do with your physical body your mind should also be taking participation in it and together that will be mindfulness whatever it is you do and you will manifest your total power that would be a real free living free of thoughts free of being bamboozled and tricked and manipulated by nonsense of thoughts that shows up 80 90 thousand times a day and free from things that really are uh, occupying you by trying to acquire them but they really are not going to enhance the value of your life what enhances the value of your life 
are all those little things, but they're all mindful and makes your mind and body coordinated together, moving together and feeling life together as small as they are, but their pleasure is infinite. So you should be focusing on what brings you pleasure and it's also good for you. Not that brings you pleasure, but it really makes you out of this world. Mentally, you're not here. Physically, you're drunk. It's like you're actually depleting and diminishing the abilities of your faculties. The whole idea of having a higher quality of life is when you actually are able to enhance your faculties. Many people try to find answers in drinking or drugs and things that makes them become oblivious to the actuality of the experience of life and they think that God had made. No, you just became oblivious and you can't think any longer because you never understood what you should be ignoring, thoughts, so you don't have to go into a bottle or drug or something like to be free from it. You've learned how to be free from garbage, nonsense, thoughts that tries to manipulate your life. And then, and only then, freedom from mind, freedom from thought, and balance between mind and body is when you manifest your total power and start experiencing a mindful life. That's what I have to say about that. Does that answer your question, Jeffrey? <laughs> you wish you didn't ask, eh? 